Hey Stu from UAV Futures here and today, well, we've got a super easy guide for you guys. We're going to be updating Betaflight and most of you guys out there might already know, but some newcomers out there might have no idea and definitely, if you haven't tried out Betaflight 4.0, people are raving about it, go check it out. And why it's important, because I've just done some build guides, you know, we're working through the complete race series, the UAV Futures 2019 race builds. I've got the power build, I've got the ultralight build. They are looking smick. But, uh, and if you want to go watch those, that video should pop up there. That's where we go through everything and the aim is to take you from your first components, build it through, put your receivers in, bind your models, set up smart audio, reverse your props, and today we're going to be also updating beta flight. So definitely this is just a little step in that chain of how to get your quads, those birds are noisy outside, it's just a little step in that chain from taking your quad from the parts to actually getting it out and flying. Now what we're going to do, it's super easy, we're going to jump over to the computer, I'm going to show you just how easy it is using beta flight to update your quad and then you too can have beta flight 4.0 and uh, definitely go out and have some fun. So let's do it. Jump over to the computer and have some fun in three, two, one. Woo! Radio. So let's get on with updating beta flight. I've plugged it in by USB. I've opened up beta flight. I'm going to click connect first. And this is be a good time if you need to take a photo of anything, or, you know, or a screenshot or anything like that of how you've actually got your drone set up. If you are updating, if you're doing it for the first time, then I guess you don't need to worry too much whatsoever. You know, have a look at configuration. So I'm going to note I'm on D shot. Uh, all these sort of things are going to remind me to turn these off a little bit later. But uh, yeah, all these sorts of things, you can look at your receiver mapping, you might want to look at how your modes are set out, all those sorts of things. And I'm going to go down to the CLI, I'm going to type version. So I can see I'm on an Omnibus F4 and I'm on 3.4. So definitely time for an update. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click disconnect. I'm going to go to firmware flasher. We're going to choose our board, which is an Omnibus F4, and the firmware we're going to be putting on is our 4.00. So we're going to go full chip erase, all that sort of stuff. I don't think you need manual board rate. Go down, load firmware online. It'll take a little second to download. And then you should be able to click flash firmware. Now, sometimes you need to hold a boot button down, depending on, I guess, how your flight control is set up. But we're going to try it without it first. And no response from the bootload. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug my little USB here. Now I'm going to hold down the boot button, which is really easy on the board. I'm going to put a picture on the screen. And you simply hold that down while you're plugging in. So that's going to put it pretty much into uh, boot mode. Then we can try it again. So let's try flashing the firmware again. Bob's your uncle. It's doing all its data and it should be updating to 4.0. Radio, so that's all looking good. And then what we can do, we're going to need to, I think we can connect straight away. Radio, and now I'm going to need to set some of my things up because it's all been erased during the flash. I'm going to, I know my serial RX. If you want to go watch my other videos, all I'm doing now is setting up my receiver and all through beta flight, my modes, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to do that very, very quickly. I know that my smart audio was right here. Save and reboot that. Let's connect again, go into my configuration brushed make sure you change this as well so you need to put all these settings sort of back to what they were before you flashed it i'm going to turn i don't need any of those i'm going to go down serial based s bus it's all looking pretty good save and reboot i'm going to go in and i don't need to really mess with my pitch tuning my receiver Save that, change my modes. You can tell I've done this a few times actually. Ox one, flip over after crash is Ox two, uh, Ox three. And then that is pretty much it for updating your beta flight. And you can see when we type in version, we're now rocking beta flight version four. So pretty exciting stuff. Right there, so there it is. There's my quick little guide, I guess, guide. No, I was almost going to say review. There's my quick little guide on how to set up beta flight. If you want to find out how to build these, go check that link out up there. We've got some giveaways, that sort of stuff. But overall, beta flight 4.0, it's don't be afraid of plugging into your computer, clicking that update button. You just need to take mind, you know, take note of what version you're using by typing in version and also take some screenshots of some of those settings. I don't recommend doing a full dump or anything like that because sometimes some of those PIDs and, you know, some things can change with the filters. Just take note, you know, 
know of your your motor orientation your ESCs your serial RX your TBS smart you know if you're using smart audio how your modes are set up and your channel mapping so just some very very basic things that can help you update your beta flight and hopefully have a smoother experience because they're always working on it, adding new features and it is feeling fresh to death. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely subscribe for more FBV related content. Go check out those guides. The link will be down below. It should be a little playlist. Let me know, did this help you? Because I know most people out there, they'll be like, Stuart, I knew how to do that a long time ago. That's not who this was aimed at. I'm all about getting people flying, enjoying the hobby. I love FPV. I want to share that with you guys. That's the mission of UAV Futures. So if you're new to this hobby and this video helped you, welcome uh, and I'm glad. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related noisy truck outside action and as always, happy flying.